Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Here we are on the Death World. Yeah, I'll bite her. Episode number 36. Now, in the previous episode, I know it's been a while, uh, but we had that uh, revenge episode with the tank. As a recap, uh, I went buck wild pretty much. <laughs> and. Um, secured all this land to the east and finished the wall um, and so forth uh, notice that a lot of our minerals uh, have been depleting um, like copper and iron um, and to go forward with science um, we're gonna have to increase our input of ores so what I want to do this episode is I want to implement our train system. Uh, as you can see down here, I've already started building the uh, foundation of it. Uh, as you can see here, we're going to have it's going to be a two lane system, one coming in, one going out, and some of the outposts are just going to be one lane uh, since there's only one train is going to go to this outpost at a time. Uh, I know I probably should make it two, but um, it's just going from this outpost to here. Drop off, pick up, go back, and so forth. Okay, so that won't be a problem. Uh, it's the line is going to curve north and shoot right directly through the base. And over here, we'll have some out, remote outposts, some remote stations going to these outposts, and that should greatly increase our production of plates and smelting and so forth. We have plenty of stone out here. Let's see where else do we have stone. Uh, we have some pat. We have the small little patch here, which I can mine up really quick. Um, I'm gonna have to deliver a ton of stone down here, so that'd be another station I can build. I can have. Um, I'm thinking about filling this this spot up here, like I should have done a long time ago. Should just fill this whole area up and have the train come right up and meet right with iron for these smelters. Okay. And then I have another one that comes up, like a secondary one here for copper, and then somewhere around here I'll have one for for stone. But right now I have to stop mining the heck out of the stone here, so that's going to be the plan for that going forward. Okay, and then another thing, uh, I want to get this copper um, smelter up and running. So we have a lot of work ahead of us still. Um, before we can wrap up uh, the death world here. I, I, I know it's been an ongoing project. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, like always, I should have done this off camera before I started recording. But let's go ahead and just restock on a couple of items here. Okay. I'm not using these filter inserters like I should be using. All right, we'll go with assembly machines. We're good with radar. No, we're not good with radars. Let's throw a few in there. Okay. Uh, we are good with turrets. Plenty of turrets. I'm probably going to be using a lot of electric mining drills. So let's steal another half a stack of that. Okay, and the same thing with power poles. Let's go get some power poles. Uh, my last thing I want to do within the next couple episodes or so is I want to get production science up and running. I do have that um, array that I just built in my regular Factoria series. So I'm going to go ahead and implement that here. We're going to place that down right here. And that leads into my next thing. I have to stop mining the heck out of this coal patch. I don't want what's happening in the Great Wall of Navius where I have to mine through my, my bus. My science bus to get the coal. Um, and the science is going to start going right through this. Um, and eventually we're going to have to do a northern expansion uh, for science. To clear out all these biters again. That should be fun. Okay. Alright, but that's uh, getting a little too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's head back down and grab some power poles. Then we start making these outposts. Since I'm here, I can just restock this a little bit. 
Okay. How am I on gears? Oh, plenty of gears. I can use a little more iron. Let's go ahead and steal that. Okay, more than enough. Alright. We'll use this path to get over to an ammo depot. Okay. Uh, I just realized I don't have any armor on me. Wow. Okay, so we're going to be using a lot of these, so let's just stock up on those. And let's just stock up on those. Sounds like a plan. Let's just clear out this patch here. I know there's a bunch that is... has run out. Okay. This one's gone too. And then these two. Okay. Um do I need this? Yeah, might as well. Might as well keep that like that. Now eventually when this iron runs out, um I was looking at that right before I started recording. I think what I'm gonna do is So we need two full lines of ore, right? Coming for a steel here. I mean, this is going to supply it for a little while longer, so I don't have to worry about it ever so, like, necessary. But since we're going to have a train line here, and it's just going to loop back up. Okay. Um, I've seen some train station designs where it's a two lane it's a two lane ride but then it's like you have a little outpost connection on top and bottom and then the train can go it can go in and then pull back out where it's supposed to the proper lane where it's supposed to go uh, I'm thinking about grabbing that blueprint uh, I believe um, Bentham has that uh, we can go uh, see if I can find that blueprint from Bentham Anthem, I'm sorry, apologize. Um, and then, um, if not, I can just search it on Reddit or one of those uh, blueprint uh, websites for that. I might just go ahead and go ahead and grab that. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that's not a bad idea. Okay, but let's. I have some landfill on me. Let's go ahead and landfill this this part of the lake there. But we'll address the steel issue uh, at a later time when Iron Outpost 1 finally runs out. If it ever runs out. <clears throat> so securing that eastern part of the base, all that land, I um, pretty much... Uh, pretty much have um, made it a lot easier to survive on this map. <laughs> um, so pushing the biters back, uh, let's take a look at the pollution range. Yeah, I mean there's tons of biters still in pollution, as you can see. Um, but all these trees out here also help that as well. Oh, well, the trees have been destroyed by the flame turrets. But... But yeah, see they're aggroing over here because of the pollution and so forth. So, it's not that bad. And this, the sea here has greatly helped out as well. You don't have to worry about any of the biters on this side of the pond here. Look at that, three million. Whew, that's a, that's a trophy iron patch right there. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, um... Oh, landfill, that's what we were getting. Okay. Okay. 
I am in implementing trades and all I'm doing is having a discussion. <laughs> all right. So I don't know how much I should push these back, but these fish, I don't want to kill these fish if I don't have to. Let's make it somewhat natural look here. Okay. That might be that might be just what I need there. Let's see if I put a Bentham thing here and then I put another one here for for copper, right? And this stone is just in the way. Once this stone right here is done, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna redesign this stone here. Part of me just wants to pick this up. All right. We will figure it out. We will figure that out. Okay. The train here for iron outpost. I want to set up iron outpost in the iron drop off here. Well, that's a that's a good idea. I can do that, right? Because eventually when this runs out, I have all this iron here, right? So then I can redirect all this iron coming from these patches here down this way instead. Right? Instead of it turning going down here, I could just have it continue going down, and then make the let make this left turn to steal. Okay, that's a good uh, that's a good plan there. We could do that. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go see if I can find that train station. Um, and then I'll bring you guys back um, once I figure that out, okay? Hey guys, I'm back. So this is what I came up with. Um, I actually didn't find the blueprint, but I did find a picture online. So uh, I pretty much just copied it here um, and I brought the train over. I realized that the train is gonna have to be uh, engine, two wagons and engine. Um, that's fine. Uh, so it can go each way, either way. Um, so I just made the generic blueprint, um, just on one side, and I could turn it around, and it's just the mirrored uh, image. Uh, so I went ahead and placed down the 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 back part of it, but right now I don't need that right now. Um, so what I was thinking about doing was having. Uh, like the c copper here, and then I mean the coal, the um, the iron here. I'm sorry, the iron, and then like the copper, like right on this track here. Or what we could do is we can just have the copper down here. It doesn't matter where the um, the lines come out of the train, right? I can always underground the lines underneath the trains, the train line, the train tracks themselves. So that's gonna work out. That's fine. I was gonna be crazy and put one here and then close it and then start another one here, but that's not necessary. Maybe later on down the line, if we need more ore for steel, we'll put one. I'll I'll make a small one here where it like starts, but then it, the, the the tracks. Maybe this top track will just end here because of where the wall is. But um, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll just be all right. Um, I don't even know if, well, I'm gonna have to build this, this whole thing out because of copper. We're gonna run out of copper. And I've actually purposely cut the copper line here so I would get this patch done first. So that's purposely done. Plus we have all this copper over here which we we'll could definitely be tapping um, when we start building you know, 
uh, modules and late game items high copper uh, amounts so so that's pretty much what that's going to be um, what I'm going to have to do, what I want to do is uh, I want to redesign this iron here this is atrocious <laughs> I'm going to end up putting one of those uh, stations here and I might just line these train tracks straight through move this all up I know I have this pipes here I don't know oh it looks like it just goes right over it let's see hmm interesting okay okay I'll have to take a look at that I think it, I might be able to get away with just going right above that plus that's where it's gonna turn anyway right so I think we'll be okay Oop, let's take a look at this attack here Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, so enough was enough with that. Uh, we're implementing the trains, and we're good on schedule with that. Um, I don't know going forward, going north here. What? Maybe we'll have a T junction here of some sort, and I'll put another station here. Oh, that's too close to this one. Um. Hmm. Maybe I'll just mine the copper down to here. Because this is going to be on the bottom, right? It's going to implement the bottom. No, nothing's going to be used on the top. So the top could be the copper. And then we could snake a train here and put another station there. One for iron and one for the both, both coal patches. That's not a bad idea. And then up here, we'll angle the train here and then we'll put another one here well um hmm sneak it and put one there right well these turrets aren't the aren't needed anymore thank goodness um hmm this goes back into science I don't want to cut the train through science if I don't have to though that might be a, not a bad idea putting a train line right I mean literally right here snaking it back here Let me play around that with that because I could just put the station like right here, right on the main line, right? So I don't want to do it here. Well, I mean, I could, I could theoretically do it right here if we just move this wall, put build this wall up, and then connect it here, right? Because eventually, this copper won't be here anymore. Right, the train line theoretically can keep going up. So that's an idea too, because if we put it right here, I can mine this iron, right? I can run belts down to copper here, possibly the coal. But this is a lot of coal, so I don't even know if I'm gonna need that much. Okay, okay. In the stone, uh, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Okay, so that's a good idea. That's a good plan. Let's just work on this some more. I'm sorry, little fishies. Taking all your ecosystem away here. But this is Factorio. We need this land. Bye bye. Nope, oh, that's all the landfill. Okay. Oh, all this running around. Always exciting new stuff happening here on Death World. It's like I do the hard work on my main series and I implement all the good ideas on Death World. And then I even better myself with that and I implement all those ideas in the Great Wall of Navius. 
as guesses how the cookie crumbles, right? In a good way, that is. Alright, so we're just gonna landfill all that. Wow. Nothing my wall can't handle there. These biter attacks are like slim now to none. <laughs> well, also the the factory is at idle because I'm not researching anything. Oh, not researching anything. Efficiency modules. I did the productivity modules uh, in between takes. Now we'll do the efficiency modules. So I'm uh, planning a tutorial series. Um, I might as well talk about this a little bit while I'm working on this. Uh, when I wrap up uh, my main series plus Death World, so this is going to be a while before um, any tutorial series comes out. Then my main factory series was supposed to be a tutorial gameplay, um, which ended up not really being what I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, it's. It is what it is, but um, I am writing a what you I guess you call it a script. Uh, I already have like five episodes written out, and uh, uh, learning by watching other YouTubers uh, do their tutorials. So um, it's it's a learning experience. I'm really excited about it. Then we'll see where it takes me. Maybe um, it could be the best thing for my channel. It could be, you know, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But I need something that's going to get me going better than what I already currently have. Um, and I mean that in a good way. Not not saying that nothing I have so far is is good. But I know it could be better. It could be much better. All right. So we're coming up to about 23 minutes now. We're starting to run out of time here. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is in between episodes, I'll... Um, finish up on this uh, detailing of the train. I'll build that other train station by the iron um, southeast outpost. Okay. And I gotta get that train um, iron train going. As I'll watch, make you guys watch me pick these rails up. Exciting. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. All right, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in these episodes. And I, I promise you, um, the only way I can wrap up these two series is if I actually put out more videos, right? Um, so uh, I do plan on having a little increase in my main, not only my main series, but Death World here. So Death World will still be on Sundays, and I'm going to slip maybe another episode or two in during the week to get this series going, because I have plans for my channel, uh, very exciting plans, and I want to go ahead and take that step, that next step forward, and um, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, tie up some old loose ends in the process. You know, growing pains. <laughs> All right. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me. I wouldn't be able to do this without your support and your viewership and so forth. So again, thank you so much. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.